Okay, so I did the image of the US through media. Um, first up, we have the global perception. I think we were one of the most feared and respected countries at one point. Um, we were respected by most countries, especially those involved in NATO. Um, I think that went down a little bit through the media from what people abroad have seen of us with the transition of power from President Obama to President Trump. Um, a lot of approval rates went down, which we'll get into later. Um, and then I have do other countries like the United States, most countries follow what the United States does very closely in terms of like politics and what's going on in our country, especially with the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, and just like who we were voting for a lot of because of the divided country, a lot of countries have looked at us um, and have also slightly been divided. I know a lot of people in the UK have just become with the Brexit and everything going on. They not necessarily follow in our footsteps, but definitely do, you know, um, like not mimic, not not copy or anything, but it's very similar in the sense. Um, a lot of can a lot of countries do watch us. Um, Canada being one of the top countries to pay attention to what we do and what's going on in our country makes a lot of sense. Um, they are right above us. They are our neighbor. One of our states are connected to them, so that makes a lot of sense. The approval rates. Um, the approval rate of the United States went down when President Trump was elected into office. I don't doubt that, just in the sense that I feel like a lot of people thought he was more of a reality star or celebrity, voted into office and didn't really have any prior um, experience to being in office. So people liked that about them, but people also didn't. You know, when he ran and against Hillary, like, you know, did you want someone who at least knew the office and slightly knew what they were doing in the sense? Or did you want someone completely different to shake up the government? Um, so it was a toss up. Um, however, our approval rates across the globe, the UK went from 83% in 2000 to 41% in 2020. That's a drastic change. It's more than half. Um, so that's pretty crazy. Um, as well as the biggest drop comes from Germany being 78% to 26%. Um, both of these countries, or the UK, um, but especially Germany, are part of NATO. So that's a lot to do. It's a lot. That's a big jump. Um, and then how does the media portray the United States? Um, it all depends on what news station people watch. Some news stations, uh, you know, lean more right than left. I know Fox leans more right and, you know, CNN will lean more left. Um, it all depends on who you're watching. And then, you know, there's um, NPR, who's pretty biased. Um, and then it can also depend on which president is in office at the moment. You know, like I said before, Fox is more right, so they were more you know, uh, paying attention to Trump and really liking Trump, really not liking Biden, really not liking Obama. Um, opposite was Sienna and they really liked Obama and they really didn't like Trump. Um, so it all depends. And they really like Biden now. So it all depends on also who's in office, how the media will portray our politics. Um, and the media is very opinionated industry. So when talking about politics, everyone wants to put the two cents in, just like in general, um, politics is also very opinionated. Um, but also very factual at the same time. Media is factual, but also opinionated, so they go very hand in hand. So it all depends on who you're listening to. Some out of um, a media and mass column, you know, sense Fox News isn't very reliable in the sense that they don't have certain criterias that meet up to match that what they are saying is factual. Um, CNN can get sued, just like Fox can as well, but they have certain criterias that like what they are saying is more than likely factual unless it's an opinionated segment. And then do other countries agree with the way we live and our politics? Um, most countries see the United States um, above average living um, and what we do, such as South Korea, Greece, and Taiwan. Um, others say we are below average or worse, such as Sweden and the Netherlands and Australia. Um, they are all very different in that aspect. Um, some, you know, don't necessarily come from dictators or anything, so... It all depends on how they see it. Um, some people, some countries thought Trump, it had, it had he had his way, would have run us like a democracy, considering Russia was really close with him. Um, not South Korea, but North Korea met with him. So a lot of people think he would have run our country like a um, dictatorship more than a democracy. However, because of the branches of government, that doesn't happen, and the Constitution um, prohibits that. Um, in terms of politics, they don't really agree on us about everything, um, and they really just kind of go with the flow. Um, a lot of people, I think, especially NATO allies, really agreed with Obama, and they slightly agree with Biden from what the media portrays. Um, but it all depends. There was, I want to say, in 
Well, it would have to be in like 2019 or 2020 before Trump left office. And he was at, I want to say, a NATO meeting or something of that sort. Um, And he said something, he was talking about something, and you can see the German leader, um, I forget who was in office at the time, it was a woman, um, and he said something and she made a face and the media caught it and it went all over the internet and so many people were like, Germany doesn't like us, Germany doesn't like us, all that. Um, And now they get perfectly along with Biden and they got perfectly along with Obama. So it all depends on how the media portrays it because they could have gotten along and she was just disagreeing with something. Um, We'll never know because it's just a picture. We weren't there, Um, but yeah. And then overall, the media paints different pictures of every little thing. Like I said, that picture of the leader of Germany, she could have not just, she just couldn't have agreed with something that President Trump had said um, and was just making a face about it. Doesn't mean they necessarily hate each other. Doesn't mean she necessarily doesn't get along with him. Um, You know, that's all theories. Um, Country relations and politics are no different with the painting of the picture, you know, we see the Brexit, but we don't know how all of, you know, London or England feel about the Brexit. Um, you know, London, England. Um, but yes, this includes the reactions of the world leaders. Like I said, with Trump and the German leader, um, there are many instances, I'm sure, that other world leaders have said something and, you know, other world leaders have made a face about it because they simply don't agree with it. And that's okay. Um, but yeah, that was my presentation.